Okay, here we have a brand new Dell 7390 laptop. And what I'm gonna do is take the hard drive that's inside of this, and I'm gonna change it for this XPG M.2 drive. Uh, this is supposed to run at uh, 3500 read and 3000 write, I believe. And we're gonna see what it actually does in practice. Uh, the, the drive that is built into this, the M.2 that shipped with it, I should say, ran at, in our benchmarks with Novabench, ran at 1600 read and just over a thousand right. So let's see what this does, see if it makes any difference at all. I'm gonna speed through this so you don't have to sit and watch. Okay, so that's the M.2, let's pull it out. Two screws, Now we did a full unboxing and benchmark performance review of this earlier. If you're interested, this video is just going to be on the drive, on the storage. There we go, so pull that out. This will just lift out. Yes, it does. Put this in. Now, I could pull the shield off of this, but I'm going to leave it on just for the sake of argument. There we go. And um, I'm just going to lay this on top because I have to change it back to the other afterwards. Okay, so this is Windows 10 1909 Pro, and that is what we're going to use to benchmark both the factory Micron uh, M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD, that's a lot of acronyms, but that is what it is, and our friend, the uh, XPG GameX. Let's see if it makes a difference in this particular unit. And uh, the BIOS is already updated on this one, so that's good to go. Uh, I've just downloaded and installed NovaBench. All right, let's start up the big Nova bench and see what we get. Okay, so let's call that an average of, what, 14, well, to make it easy, let's call it 1470, and the disk score is dramatically better uh, than the uh, 1000 write speed and the 1600 read speed that uh, we had with the factory Micron. All right, so I think we can say quite conclusively now that the factory, and I say factory being Dell, uh, Micron quarter terabyte PCIe NVMe uh, SSD is dramatically slower than the GameX S11 Pro M.2, same old thing, right? So it's a 2280 stick, blah, 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 blah. So is it worth the upgrade? Well, it depends on what you're doing, but uh, if you are moving a lot of data around, it really might be. All right, if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you, bye-bye.